a shack on a stick on the ocean, otherwise described as a seastead, or a home built on a pillar in the middle of the ocean, just 12 miles from the Thai coast, is to be removed today and tomorrow. Built by an American who at one time told media he faced the death penalty but doesn't, the so-called home was built by a company called Ocean Builders, who'd planned to build a colony of offshore homes. That's not going to happen, and so-called seasteads have been banned by numerous governments worldwide and are usually the folly of the rich. More than 7,000 homes in the central and northern provinces have been damaged during summer storms this month, and the damage continued at the weekend as the nation suffered under temperatures most can't remember being so high. Electricity demand nationwide hit a record peak at the weekend as anyone with an air conditioning unit had it on flat out. EGAT, though, has set up systems to cope and no brownouts are expected. Over 20,000 people attended Pan Buriram at the weekend, an event held at the new motor racing circuit to promote the use of marijuana for medical use. Organisers were taken by surprise as they'd only expected a few thousand visitors, but instead the queues were long to see presentations on safe and efficient use of marijuana along with its benefits. The FDA has approved the release of DIY HIV testing kits soon to be available from pharmacies, with the warning that in the event that a user sees signs of positivity, they should automatically contact a doctor. Nearly half a million is the estimated number of HIV sufferers in Thailand. National Health Services provides support for Thais along with medication that's intended to keep the virus under control. But it's also estimated that some 200,000 more may be HIV positive and for whatever reason unaware of their plight. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, Songkran's over, done and dusted. Officially Friday was the last day, but partying continued until yesterday, albeit without the water. Reported to have been a well-behaved week in the city, police have been happy with the lower number of arrests too. Sunday, though, saw an all-out fight between two rival gangs of ties on Beach Road, seeing four injured. Police quickly attended, but many fled ahead of them. Good news for music lovers in Pattaya, as Australian music star and chart topper Denny Hines, along with her all-star band, will be playing here on May the 25th. Fabfest, organised by us in conjunction with The Loft Pub, promises a wonderful night with three different bands. And as last year, all money taken on the night goes to children's charities. Ticket details will be released next week. Dine out on Japanese Wagyu specialities for under 300 baht. 25% discount at a Beach Road restaurant. Cold cuts and more for under 200 baht on the dark side. And a 20% off massage in John Tien. Just a few of the offers at Always Patia. For details of those and others, and also events in and around the city, visit alwayspatia.com. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 36, the real feel of 41, and the chance of thunderstorms today, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Patia, the city of fun.